Hey everybody, it's Flare31 here. Welcome back to more Super Mario Eclipse. Last episode, we finished up Noki Bay, and then uh, we were going to go to Pianta Village, but then we took a detour over to Worship Island because I found a little other area that connected to it, and I was like, well, we haven't finished this place yet. And we got really close to finishing it. We are exactly one blue coin away from finishing it. But this last blue coin uh, is not obvious to me like a lot of the other ones are. Or I haven't stumbled across it uh, accidentally either. So um, instead of trying to scour the level to find it, uh, we're going to do it later. I think my plan is going to be to do a like... A blue coin cleanup episode, probably. Just like all the random blue coins that I missed that I don't exactly remember. Where is this? Oh, this is the... And yeah, this connects to Air to Rock. Right. Should I be, like, doing something with all these flowers? There is a lot of them. And they do stay open for quite a bit. Okay, I guess I'm just going to open all the flowers. That probably does something. Makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that the first time I came here, but here we are. Starting off strong with an easy shine. But... Uh, what I think I actually want to do is I want to head towards Delfina Plaza. We haven't been to Delfina Plaza in a hot second. You don't hear that in Vanilla Sunshine very often. Actually, you don't hear it at all. Because you, you have to be in, or in Delfina Plaza for everything. In between everything. But, uh... If I go over there... I'm thinking about maybe going to the airstrip and just getting that out of the way. Doing airstrip reds. I think we have everything else here, though. Oh, definitely plaza. Home sweet home. Okay, so... Go up here. Uh, we'll grab the 10 coins that are in the sewers over here to get to, uh, the airstrip, assuming it still costs 10 coins. Maybe it doesn't. But, better be safe, sorry. So you just go down here. And there's 10 coins just sitting there perfectly. Um, oh wait, we don't have Flooded Plaza yet. We ne that never triggered. I forgot about that little, that little detail. Okay, never mind. I guess we're gonna go to Pianta Village, which we can get to through Bianco. Yeah, let's do that. Bianco. I want to go that way because <laughs> I think that makes the most sense to go from Bianco. Hills to Ganta Village. Alright, here we are. Bianco Hills has a pathway over yonder where PT is sleeping on like the uh, thing up here. The like pillar and thing. And there is a pathway that leads presumably to Pianta Village. I'd be shocked if it didn't. It could be an in-between area, but regardless. Ooh, I kind of thought I was going to spin jump. It's fine. Man, this is weird to look at. The forbidden territory back there. Okay, it's just straight to Pianta Village. All right, let's get Pianta Village done. That's our last um, vanilla level that we have yet to do. We still don't have all of Rico Harbor done.
welcome to Pianta Village. Where in the hell am I? Oh, this whole area got changed and it moved the M because of it. I was like, what is this? <laughs> Vanilla content change that actually mattered? What? Yeah, nor so normally this is all blocked off right here, and that M is on a wall that's blocking all this off. Um, crazy, okay. Let's go ahead and do this level. Grab some blue coins on the way. I'm thinking Pianta Village should go pretty quickly. Pianta Village isn't super challenging. Yeah, come over here. If you uh, center the camera with L, you can turn a little bit faster. I'm ooh, I'm definitely glad that we uh, came into Pianta Village that way because that was really cool to see. And it was definitely the most natural way to get here because it's how you do it in vanilla. Cause he spawned over there. Oh uh, no! Now I bet you I could uh, fix some of the stuttering issues if I raise the CPU uh, clocks in the emulator. That was like a thought I had, but eh, it's kind of part of the experience to see all the lag that you'd get. I assume that. On console, you'd get similar lag if you enabled 60 FPS. Oh, he's over there. I was like, where'd he go? There he is. Not quite. Oh, you're kind of in a bad spot. Alright, get in there. Remember, always be kind to your pets. This PSA was brought to you by Flood. Flood. <laughs> I remember that was there. And it was kind of on the way. I'm still missing that one blue coin, Rico Harbor. Yo, Piantissimo's crazy climb. I'm curious, though, if finishing Pianta Village will enable the flood or not. Because that's what it does in, uh, you know, it's it's every every level in vanilla, it's the seventh level. It's me, Yo, Piantissimo. And now, listen, see that flag over there? I see two pipes on the tree. Can I get any blue coins? Now you and I shall race to get there the fastest, yes? My personal record is 30 seconds. Impressive, eh? Are you at the ready? Then get set and go. I can get this one. And then I can get the M over here. If I can power slide, water slide. go and we already got the one at the top so we didn't have to get it again grr yes grr that was not so bad you are quick yes i suppose maybe i underestimated you a small bit perhaps you try again after you have practiced more until then i right, got two blue coins out of that not bad
<laughs> you can now play as Il Piantissimo. That was an awesome cutscene, by the way. Had a big goofy smile on my face the whole time. Um, I guess we're going to episode three. How? Oh my god, you can actually player select. Whoa. Cool. Like, I will, I will, we're gonna play as Il Piantissimo, obviously. So, does he get flood? <laughs> How does this work? What's the difference? I mean, well, obviously, I don't get flood in this level. You get the point. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cursed, but it's so good. Oh wow, he's fast. My boy's fast. That makes sense. Oh my god, he's unironically super fast. What? <laughs> he goes. He soars. I could probably, uh... Oh yeah, you can just make that jump now. You arrived at just the right time. Man, he's so... Acrobatic. Oh, I landed on the crate. We're fine. Wow. He's like just better Mario actually right now. Until I put on Flood maybe. Ooh, that was some lag. Emulator lag. I think he's just better Mario. Unless he has some crazy downside that I'm not seeing right now. This goes crazy. I mean, I guess the, the downside would be he's less able... You're less able to fine-tune. Oh... He can't really spam spray. He, like... Oh, he has a double jump! What?! A double jump in my Mario game? What is this? This is the most cursed thing I've ever seen. So he can't spam spray, really, because he, like, double jumps. Oh my god, that's crazy. Ooh, you saved me. Thanks, bundle. I like spam spraying, though. I guess this is also a way to get into the Pianta Pit. Just falling down there. Cool. He double jumps. That is the most insane thing. Is that a triple jump? It's literally a triple jump as his double jump. What? <laughs> I feel like I'm being trolled. This is like a... Ugh, my spam sprays. I miss them so. <laughs> this is like uh, if someone... I don't know what I'm trying to say, to be honest. Oh god, it's so weird and it's so bad. You could, you could double drop off of anything. Oh, but it completely nerfs the... That... What? You have to you have to double jump and then do it. This guy is so OP. <laughs> I just have to get used to how he plays. Look at how much distance he can cross. Insane. Let me get the the moon coin. Thank you. Like a mama, ha mama. And you can still, uh, ground pound. <laughs> the, the flood waistband... The belt around him looks really cursed. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm on the Il Piantissimo hy hype train right now, because... <laughs> the only downside that I'm seeing right now is that he, um... Can't really spam spray super easily. Ah, he's so fast. 
Um, oh, I also just don't get flood. Oh, he literally doesn't get flood. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, something's not right here, but it's because of that level giving us flood. Okay, with flood, he was super OP. Without flood, uh, it's a bit of a different story. <laughs> Pick this up. Pick it up. Oh, there we go. I wonder if I can cool him off with my water balloons. <laughs> Am I gonna be able to do that? Oh, they do a lot. They do like a surprising amount. Are they basically just water barrels? Okay, let's pull him in here. <laughs> he doesn't get flood. That's so interesting. No wonder there's a water balloon mechanic. Cl doing things without flood though is so... It seems tedious. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, here, here's the deal. I can't play as Piantissimo for this entire uh, level. Because I need to um, unlock the nozzles for Mario. <laughs> Any other level besides this one, besides vanilla levels, is fine. But for the time being, I need to unlock the nozzles, which I think there's only the rocket nozzle anyway. Now that I think about it, and it's only in episode eight. Ow! So I guess I could have done him for this particular episode. All right, I'll, I'll do him for. Uh, ooh, Pianta six would be hard though. Pianta six without flood. Even though he's faster? I don't know. I'm having doubts. I'll, I got, maybe I'll give it a try. Can't knock until you try it. Grab on this guy. Uh, so, Pianta 5 is very famously a really good mission to do blue coins in. Our blue coins did do a hundred coins in. I mean, kind of and blue coins for that matter. Because you need Yoshi for a decent amount of blue coins. Man, they're really spreading apart. And there we go. So we need juice to be able to do the beehives. And we're gonna want their coins. Done deal, get some more. Ow, 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 ow. And that's one hive down and like all of the coins that we need on top of that. And the other beehive is over here. We also need uh, Yoshi for Seeker of the Village Underside. Dude, I bet you, um... I like how I chose, like, literally the perfect level to, uh... Use Il Piantissimo for the first time. Because it was a level where you actually just get Flood. <laughs> and so we got to see him with Flood, which is the most cursed thing. Uh, man. I should have done all these this first. I should have done all that first. 
We're going into Pianta Pit by accident. Pianta Pit. Whoa. Whoa. What is going on down here? Oh, that brings us back up. Okay, we're, we'll go back there later. <laughs> One thing at a time. All right, well, let's do Il, Il, Il Piantissimo. I have to do Mario for episode eight to get the rocket nozzle. For completionism's sake. Oh my God, he's so fast. That double jump literally was like the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. It's a it's a double triple jump, which is also kind of confusing. It's not like a, a double jump double jump. Where it does the double jump uh as if you did two jumps in a row. The only bad part about the double jump is that you, you kinda get locked into whatever angle you're you're at, so. Ooh, like right here, you would not want to double jump. Man, he can just clear these gaps like nothing. On his own, no less. Gil Piantissimo don't need no blood. Oh, he's so fast. Ooh. All right. Um... Yahoo! I'm gonna grab uh, the B coins again. Because we didn't actually get the 100 coins. <laughs> Otherwise, we don't really need Yoshi anymore. It's really just that. Piantissimo riding Yoshi? Okay. Let's just get her stuff. That. Wait, does I think Il Piantissimo's momentum carries into Yoshi? What the heck? Wait, can I double jump with Yoshi? No, it's just still the flutter. But yeah, his momentum definitely carries on to the, the air. Yoshi de definitely doesn't get that much aerial momentum normally. There's no way. Yoshi would be way better if he did. <laughs> oh my god. No. Thank you. Okay. Oh! Oh, I saw Mario's voice lines for that. I really didn't even need all of these Vs. There's so many. I don't think I need Yoshi anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, I do to get into the secret, but... I digress. I need someone to come up with a Yoshi skip for uh, Pianta 5 secret, but with Il Piantissimo. Oh, I'm so not used to this this arc this arcane magic that this is. Let's go. So I did know that Il Piantissimo is a playable character. I did not realize that he was this different. 
It's so interesting. Oh, you can actually change. You can change your angle. Oh my god. That's crazy. You'll be on Tissimo, so OP. <laughs> End game character for sure. I need this. I need a mod. I guess I don't need a mod. I can just play this. <laughs> I was gonna say I need a mod where it puts Il Piantissimo into the original game. It is in the original game <laughs> already. Um. Do that. And that. It's so weird that he gets ELP on Tissimo's, like, momentum. It's still weird. Alright. Reds with ELP on Tissimo in this? I'm just thinking. So we can probably skip all the trucksters then. Well, almost all of them. We're not getting the height to get up here. Okay. Oh my god, his side flip goes so hard. <laughs> Can I clear that gap with the LP on? Okay, well, hold on. I need to try something. Oh my god, it's long jump. <laughs> Is this long jump good enough? Ooh, his long jump might be good enough. Ooh, I don't know, it is a big gap. Alright, for science, for science. How many lives do I have? Okay. Any the right quarter frame? He'll be on this one. Time 16. <laughs> Oh my god, he makes that gap. That's so crazy. <laughs> I, uh, I have no words. I mean, I have a lot of words, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's do reds. I'm kind of scared to do reds, but we're going to do them. Nah, man. And double triple jump. Double triple jump is the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> double triple jump. You get so much height off of that. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to I need I need to know how much height we get. You get so much height. Insane. Bring a fruit to Yoshi. Even though Yoshi doesn't need a fruit to be unlocked, but we need a fruit to spray the juice. This movement is so fun. Whee! Oh my god, you jump so high with <laughs> ELP on Tissimo Yoshi. I don't know what ELP Antissimo does to his Yoshis, but whatever he does, it's kind of like they're on crack cocaine. Okay. There we go. We're in. <laughs> So weird. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over it. It is really, it's har way harder to make more fine tuned movements though. Because his inertia is so great, so massive. Okay. 
Oh my god. Oh, okay. That was kind of spooky doing that. That went way better than I thought it would. I'm impressed. I'm Eo Piantissimo game now. I'm never looking back. Oh, wait. That's right. Episode 6. That exists. Um. Fine. We'll give it a go. I mean, I guess it is like throwing a barrel every time, so it should be fine. It's just cleaning off the people. That's gonna be kind of awkward. Oh no, I just went away for a bit, and now look! I can't believe it! Another fine mess, and it's a doozy. Some of the villagers are trapped in that burning ooze. And I just finished evacuating everyone a little while back. What in the world's happening? I think I may just start crying. I'm sorry to trouble you after time after time, but please, could you find the time to help us out again? Ten villagers are trapped in the slime. You must hurry. Wow. You get so much height. So much height. Alright. Bam. Bam. Oh my god. Lining up the, this to clean? Not easy. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. The time limit is what makes it hard, specifically. Go! Clean! Maybe with d direct, direct hits it is reasonable. And then we need uh, blue coins from every one of these. You know what, normally I would be all for getting um, that blue coin right here. I'm gonna do it. Oh no. Oh, clean off the graffiti is so hard. Whoa. Okay. You know what? Forget the graffiti. Did I get the... The thing from talking to you? I don't remember. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Well, the next one we wanted was, uh... This one anyway. Yo! Okay. Yeah, I guess you can spam them if you jump. But then you kind of get like this weird uh, thing where you get stuck with one when you land. Lack of a ma ha ma ma. Chuckster. The village of Chucksters. Alright, this is it. We did it. Somehow. I don't know what just happened. Or what I just witnessed. Based on eyewitness descriptions, the truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Il Piantissimo. Scheme would be so different if it started El Piantissimo from the beginning. Like in vanilla. It would have such a different vibe. <laughs> okay, let's try this graffiti again. You could do it, you just have to be persistent. Go! Hey man, he runs so fast. The running man from Ocarina of Time. Who knew he ran so fast? Hello. 
You know what? I bet uh, Il Piantissimo is the highest skill character. I mean... He's got to, the speed runs that you could do, the movement tech, gotta be crazy. He has so much drift, so much aerial drift. All right, anyway. Let's go ahead and grab our shine, our prize. You're the savior of Pianta Village, we're in your debt. As a reward, please take this. Well, bud, I didn't think you could do it. I'm sorry I doubted you. <laughs> Shadow Mario runs wild. Doing Shadow Mario with water balloons? I mean, at least I run faster than them. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. How do I hit a moving target with water balloons? How does it work? Oh god. <laughs> this is so bad. It's so annoying. Oh, there we go. We got a good hit. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Il Piantissimo. There we go. <laughs> ah, I gotta remember this. Alright. Oh, it didn't work. It, or, it either didn't work or I was facing the correct direction. Alright, we have to go back to Mario. I know, I know, I know. I need to do a new game plus with just like Piantissimo. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. If you if you were like on the fence about trying this out, that I think that should seal the deal for you. It's a lot of fun to play as, as Il Piantissimo. Um. All right, so first of all, there's a red coin underneath here. There's also an M graffiti underneath here that I never got. It's like way bigger. Pretty sure it was not normally that big. All right, Mario. I don't trust you. Uh -oh. I do miss Flood though. <laughs> just give me Il Piantissimo with Flood and then we're just like on crack. How many blue coins do I need? One? Um... Oh, it's the blue bird, obviously. So... Oh yeah, I need to grab red coins. <laughs> There's like an actual gold to this level, by the way. Ow. I'm surprised that I hit that by accident, but we'll take it, I guess. So there's some, or a red coin in a box here. The tallest stack. And then... Um, oh, in the hot tub, in the tree, and here is our rocket nozzle. It's important, it's important. Also, getting this bluebird without, uh, Blood would have been kind of bad, not gonna lie. We saw how Shadow Mario went. Alright, so... 
Red coin here. Red coin here. There's a lot of red coins like in right in this area. Red coin in the beehive. This specific beehive. Ooh, usually if you just run through that, you'd be fine. There's one in the bushes over here. Tall grass. That's all the blue coins, right? Yeah. Okay. We're in the final stretch of Beyond the Village. And then from here we go up to the top. And then Ooh, that doesn't quite reach. If I had LP on Tissimo, it would have reached. Don't worry. It's fine. Everything's fine. Refill our water. I somehow didn't make it up there. Okay. go. Final red coin. And at the same time, get the secret shine. Now we go over here. Luff uh, is not looking too good on the emulation here. I think it got uh, over anti alias, probably. Doesn't matter. Give me my shine. Alright, now we never need Mario again, unless there's more bluebirds to get. <laughs> Or other similarly flood preferred things. Alright, I promised it. We're gonna go into the the Pianta pit. Actually, before we do that. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna go back to the plaza. I wanna see if it's flooded. It is flooded. Okay, well, you need you need Mario to be able to control the boat, right? <laughs> you can't just control the boat without Mario. Without Flood, maybe more specifically. Alright, so Flood of Delfino, you can ignore it. The important part about Flood of Delfino is you come into Corona Mountain. Which looks the same. I'm kind of shocked. Okay, I guess we're in here. Oh, in here. Right. I am curious where that goes, but we'll find out later, maybe. It does matter, I can just skip it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No! <laughs> this is gonna be hard with ELP on Tissimo specifically. This is actually gonna be difficult. This is where Mario is kind of OP. I'm surprised that that reached. Oh my god. Oh, my cat came down. I need to wait for a cycle. Oh, God. Ah! 
Okay, that was close. Hey there, cat. Cat's name is Tigger, by the way. What are you even doing down here? Having a grand old time, probably. Um, you almost have to land on the spikes, but landing on the spikes is hard. Oh no, this is nightmare fuel for me. Oh, thank God. Ooh, we make that gap. Okay. I'm glad I refilled my water. <laughs> um, okay, question. How does this boat work with the OP on this boat? It really doesn't. <laughs> I made it this far. I, um... Yeah, I'm kind of stuck now. <laughs> okay. We'll come back. Wait, what? It's still flooded? That's weird. Highly unusual. Even. Okay, hold on. Okay, um... My cat wanted... Presumably to be next to me because I think it's storming. So, got that set up. And we're good to go now. Um... So... This... The, the way that vanilla usually works here... Is... Flood to Delfino happens. You go into Corona Mountain, and then Flooded Delfino ceases to happen after you exit Corona Mountain. That did not happen here, which is odd and strange and odd. Um, I need to change to Mario, though. I, so I have, like, a couple of theories. One is, like, something I thought of as I was tending to my cat. One, that boat in Corona Mountain w serves as a nice like force to be like you have to be mario if you want to go fight bowser because like of course you have to be mario if you want to go fight bowser right um makes sense to me second of all um it's interesting that it seems to me like it could be not the end of the game if that makes any sort of sense. As in, like, that's not the finale. Like, there's either... If it is the finale, there's post-game. Or... Something similar, I'm not sure. Either way, I'm gonna go into Rico Harbor real quick. We're gonna change to Mario. <laughs> Man, I wish I knew where the last blue coin in here was. Where is the last blue coin? Why do I not do I not know it off the top of my head? Where, 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 where? Let me go look around for this blue coin real quick. I'm thinking I must have missed one in episode one, because that's the only explanation I got for why I'm missing one. But where? Because the submarine's definitely ex episode one. The M on the ship is definitely episode one. The M on the ground is definitely episode one. I don't know. What else is episode one? Oh, my God. I know where it is. It was in episode one, but it was down here. I forgot that there was an M in here. Let's see, 
stupid M. Oh my god. That was gonna bother me for the rest of my life. So I'm glad that that's over. Alright, let's do uh, let's do Corona Mountain then. <laughs> let's just do it. I want to see what happens after we uh, beat Bowser. We can always beat Bowser again if we need to. That's like not that big of a deal. Unless the ba the fight has changed drastically, that's also an option. Doubt it though. Okay. Wow. It's like I never left. All right, let's go get these blue coins that are in here too. Unless Mario needed to come in here specifically, that could also have been an option. I, I will try exiting area when we get all the blue coins. It is crazy how hard this section becomes with Il Piantissimo. Like, on one hand, his platform is super good, and he can just, like, cross the entire thing in one leap, but on the other hand, can't uh, rely on the furnaces at all. You can't uh, re reliably make those extinguish. But it's fine. Yeah, let's go this way. I take a little arc around it. And then famously, there is ten blue coins in front of a mountain for some reason. And nine of them are along these uh in a circle kinda of around here. Ugh. Okay. Let's go this way. Maybe. I think I usually go the other way, but whatever. No time like the present. Uh. Earn. Why is turning the boat so hard? Ooh. So it'd be harder, but we're fine. I probably should have just kept going, but whatever. We've committed. Too, not too fast here. Still need some more blue coins. Okay. That leaves us with... What? Four over here or so? Guess we're gonna back up into this one. As much as I don't like backing up in the boat. Run the camera. Okay. I think we're in the clear. Grab rocket just to grab it. 
and then we have all 10 blue coins. I'm going to exit area. We'll see if that changes the flood or not. It doesn't. Interesting. It looks like you guys are getting a Bowser fight on your hands. Shouldn't be that hard to get back. And we're already back to the boat. Let's go ahead and kind of speed through it to some extent. I wouldn't say I'm particularly amazing at controlling this boat, but I'm not bad either. I could do it with some sort of speed. And there we go. Off to fight Bowser. I have to actually do the platforming. Normally you'd rocket storage. Oh no, the platforming failed me. Right, I'm gonna refill. I legit don't remember the last time I actually did this. Like this specific cloud movement. Absolute classic. Here's Bowser. So, this boss fight's always been hilariously, infamously easy. <laughs> that hits different with the, uh, the rocket. Um, rocket dive. I, like, flew over there. I can still mess this up, though. Especially if I get my angles wrong like that. Why do I feel like the flood's going higher than usual? Yeah, I feel like flood's just going higher than usual. I don't know. Maybe the rocket got buffed. It must be.
vacation starts now. Yahoo! You can now play as Luigi. Wow. Changed cutscene. Piantissimo is kind of a G for throwing that and breaking it. Um, so we can play as Luigi now. And we didn't get anything else crazy. We didn't get credits. Which is interesting. Um, but now we have Post Plaza State, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, the boat guy's over here now, so... Does he- I'm gonna assume he still charges money. We'll go grab our money. I wanna do, uh... I wanna do airstrip reds. No! How am I this bad? He plays Il Piantissimo a little bit too much. Okay, 10 coins. Perfecto. Perfecto Mundo. I don't think I've, uh, I've... I still don't think I've gotten Delfino 100s. Or maybe I did. No, I definitely didn't. Right? Shall I take you out to the airstrip? It's completely free. Oh, it's free. Let's go. To the sea. It's time to push off and head out. Don't expect any sea shanties from this captain, mate. Oh shit, it's a little bit different. But Airstrip Reds is gonna have to wait until the next episode. We unlocked two new characters. Crazy. Anyway. Um if you like the video, please do like. And if you really like the video, and you wanna see more, consider subscribing. And if you dislike the video, then hit dislike. Otherwise, I'll see everyone next time.